I want to focus for the next few moments on understanding the meaning for your existence. No human being on earth, 7.1 billion of us, is a mistake. Not one of us is a mistake. We were sent here specifically to do something valuable. That means God had something that needed to be done that made you necessary. And most of us don't know our own purpose on earth. So I want to give you five questions to write down that you must answer if you are going to be successful on this planet. These five questions are so important that they control the entire world. Everything that every human does on earth is motivated by these five questions. The poorest man sleeping under the bridge is trying to answer these five questions. The wealthiest man living in the palace is struggling with these five questions. Every race, every creed, every ethnic group and every culture is fighting over these five questions. These five questions control the whole world. What are these five questions? Who am I? It's a difficult question to answer. The second question that controls the human race is where am I from? Where did I come from? What is my source? Some say you came from a monkey. The third question every human is battling with is why am I here? The average human being does not know why they're on planet Earth. They wake up every morning, go into a job they hate, working with people they don't like, getting paid less than they're worth, and dying too young from frustration because they don't know why they exist. The fourth question every human must answer is what can I do? The average human on Earth has no idea about their ability. 90% of the human population will die and never achieve more than 10% of their true ability. This is a tragedy. And the last question every human must answer is where am I going? What is my destination? Everyone wants to know what is my future? Where am I going in the next 20 years, 40 years? Who will I be when I am 75 or 82? What is my destiny? And these five questions are frustrating the human race. I went to a church and became religious. I never got a question answered. And I picked up the Bible at age 13, very young. And my whole life as a teenager exploded. And I discovered that the greatest tragedy in life is not death. The greatest tragedy in life is life without a purpose. Nothing is worse than being alive and not knowing why. Breathing oxygen and eating food and getting energy and don't know why you have it. This is a tragedy. To live for 80 years and still didn't know why you were here. That's a tragedy. Without a purpose, life has no meaning. It has no sense of destiny, no sense of precision. But I have some good news for you. Success is predictable. Success is not luck. God designed everything he created to be successful. You will never see a bird who cannot fly naturally. You'll never see a fish who cannot swim naturally. Every seed, if you put it in the ground and give it water, you don't need to pray. It is designed to bring forth a tree. Everything God created has built into it its own success. And if the plant is here today, and gone tomorrow, how much more important are you to God? God is more committed to your success than you are. Your success is important to God. Success is built in to creation by every manufacturer.
who makes a product. Some of you have in your lap an iPad. That iPad has a little symbol on it. It's an apple. That apple is the image of the company. Before that image was placed, they made sure that everything necessary for its success was built into it. Stay with me. And the manufacturer took it and put it in the box. He covered it up with a book. He calls the book the manual. The word manual, write it down. The word manu means to make and all means to think. So manual simply means the maker's mind on paper. And the book always says, before operating this product, please read me completely. We never read that book, which means we don't know the mind of the manufacturer concerning his product. Now that book is simply a book of promises and laws. The manufacturer guarantees that the product will perform exactly what it promises. But then it gives you a warranty. The warranty says, if you obey the laws that are in this book, then we guarantee we will personally protect it. Then it says, if there is any defect in this product, do not attempt to fix yourself. They will defend, protect, replace, repair, restore, not for your sake. They are protecting their name. You are a product. And the first thing the manufacturer placed on you is his image. The manufacturer says, let us make a product in our image. The first thing he put on you is the most important thing to him, his image. That means your failure is bad for God. So when you read the Bible, all through the Bible, God would say these to his people. He would say, even though you are stiff-necked, you murmur, you complain, and I want to kill you. He said, I will prosper you, and I will restore you, and I will heal you, and I will redeem you. Listen, for my name. And this is why if he told you to go to university, don't worry about tuition. If he told you to build a business, you have the ability. If he told you to build a church, you have the ability. If he told you to go into politics, you have the ability. If he told you to be a lawyer, you have the ability. If he told you to be a teacher, you have the ability. If he told you to build a school, you have the ability. Whatever he told you, he will do it for his name. Somebody scream hallelujah. Oh!